Na hii ni double XL you already know Monday to Friday we up in here kubengisha ma story ma infotainment go makali that's why we here hiyo ah. joint ambayo imetoka hapo the kuna, legacy kuna watu wamekalishwa wamepigishwa magoti mikono juu <laughs> wamezibwa midomo hamna kuongea <laughs> listen what i'm telling you hiyo ni sambamba na Kali Graf Jones <laughs> na wenzake wameambiwa vitu fulani huko ndani. I'm sorry in case of ujaelewa lugha ambayo imetumika hapo. Nitema yai family is in a house. You already know. Wakazi is in a building. Yeah. Na wiki hii imenifanya nigundue ya kwamba America is not the same kama ambavyo ilikuwa zamani mwa, mwanzoni bana Marekani. Ah bana haza. Kanili mtu ataogi unajua wiki mbili. Lakini this day is like yeah. yeah. So I went to Chicago all the way from airport to studio you know what I'm saying like yeah I'm like Chicago like na ule ugonjwa ambao DJ or DJ aje kuugua yani atamani jet lag kila siku yeye ni Monday yes siku UTI UTI hebu pigwe jet lag kidogo kaka una umo kishua ugonjwa fano wa kishua hivi una usikia usikia <laughs> shout yako. So shout out to our cousins in the house. Last time tulikuwa na Ambwene Yesaya aka AAAAY. My brother uh the papo the, the papo gentleman ama sio. Oh yeah. Oh, Tunakuamini yeah. for that. We're going to tema sana lecture nyingi na kukubali social media. Huo unakubali kila mtu. When you decide to ku promote kila msanii akitoa ngoma yake kwenye page yako na kusema bana support this guy, support this guy, support this guy. Lakini ukitoa sioni kwenye page zao akisema support this guy. Mm. Inakuaje ile? Bwana wanasema panda mti bila kuwa na matumaini ya siku moja utakaa kwenye kivuli chake. Mm. Okay, yani upande kwa sababu uliamua kupanda mti. Na of course tabia ya mtu ya kutoa support sio kitu ambacho unaweza kumlazimisha mtu mwingine. Somebody can learn from you mm-hmm. lakini uwezi kumlazimisha mtu ambaye hahipo ndani yake ataifanya. Oh, okay. eh, na kusabu kwa sababu kwa sababu ya kushindana au ku ili na yeye alipize mm. so good. Kwa nini umind? Why don't you feel like you? Yaani mimi I do for you, you don't do for me. Kwa sababu mimi vile vile uh, naji, naji consider somehow some ni self made. Yaani sijai kutegemea mtu kunishika mkono ni niende. Mm. Yaani ubishi wangu mwenyewe mimi najiona ni mimi niko sawa tutaenda sawa. Wewe kuna mtu ananipa support au wanipi support? There we go. Eh, mm. like and if somebody doesn't do it, I expect that anyway. Mm. Mm. Welcome to Double XL yeah. For sure for sure for sure. Mm-hmm. Na <laughs> umezungumzia hapa masuala ya ubishi. Sema wewe ni mbishi kama Kennedy alikuwa anasema hapa off mic. <laughs> Akiamua kubishana na ulimwengu mzima wa Twitter anabishana nao na mm-hmm. ana move on. Hivi haya mabishano yamewahi kutoka nje ya Twitter ukakutana na mtu same X. and then akaamua kuya extend na ikageuka kuwa violence. Hapana unajua watu wengi ambao unajibishana nao kwenye mitandao ya kijamii they are actually fans. Alafu oh, ni wale okay. fans ambao wanataka wanataka attention. Mm. Na wengine they are not fans bali ni watu ambao wanatafuta attention tu ili na yenyewe waweze kupata hata maokoto. Sababu sikuizi mitandao ni hela. Ni kuna mtu ana yeah, kukomalia yeah. kitu hivi. Kumbe yeah. <laughs> amelipwa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kwa hiyo it's like sometimes either unaamua kumpa mtu kile anachokitaka okay. au unamnyima kwa sababu unajua kumbe wewe gear yako yote ni kwa sababu unataka unategemea kitu fulani. Yeah, yeah. Basi sikupi hicho ili ya kushinde. Lakini yeah. nje ya kutoka Twitter kuja kwa Pega sehemu nyingine haiye kutokea. Yeah. Do, wasani wenzangu ambao ni wachache ambao wanaendaga nao back and forth wachache sana ambao unasema labda na kushona nao afya na google maneno mengine hmm. unaona yeah. na yeah, most of the time tukikutana nje yanakuwa kwa mfano kuna wasanii ambao unaona ukiona na bishana hawaingilii tukikutana au kina yeah. yeye tukikutana uso kwa uso halali yani tunaanza ugogo bishana upya unajua watu wana ni kwa mfano kuna siku moja tuliyekaga picha ilikuwa video call nilikuwa mimi mwana FA AY na Roma. Yeah. Afu mimi nikaandikaje watu wanaweza wakafikiri mimi ndo nilikuwa naongea sana hapo. Kumbe mimi I was the least <laughs> mtu wa kuchangia pale. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. We, 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 we. Hawa watu na kutajia hawa wanaongea wewe. Yeah. Mimi yani nasubiri maana kibao. Sema yeah. kwa sababu ita the way social media ilivyo mimi niko quick kulinganisha hawa wote kumjibu mtu wa kawaida ndio yeah, yeah, yeah. mm. inasababisha watu kama pe mimi ndo naongea sana mm. au mbishani sana eh. lakini mm. sio hivyo in reality. Wow. Um, combination ya Roma wakazi AY na FA kwenye call moja mm. hapo ni industry ilikuwa na discussiwa. Mlikuwa mnaongelea vitu gani najua itakuwa ni kwa faida ya taifa au mtu mmoja mmoja. Hapo tumewasimanga baadhi ya wasanii <laughs> <laughs> 
basi mango kuu basi mango yani ni mengi hapo yani feed kio alikuwa na usalama watu wengi yani kuna baadhi ya watu hapo alizawa zikuwa salama lakini most of most of all ilikuwa ni mambo productive it was a time uh if kwa yuko US Roma of course yuko US everybody knows mimi nilikuwa niko US na Iwaya kwa amekuja na okay. Iwaya ndo alikuwa ameondoka US amekuja Tanzania oh. so he was the only one ambaye alikuwa na city ba kwa ilikuwa phone call fani nzuri kuhusu okay opportunities za kule na huku what can we do yani mambo kama it was a very productive conversation mm. ila utani ulikuwa ni mwingi 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 na tuasimanga <laughs> <laughs> wakazi una base wapi sana kwenye life yako kwa sasa ni marekani ama ni tanzania uh, i'll say 50 50 sasa hivi ujue um, baada ya 2013 ujue nikujaga 2012 and then nikaondoka 2013 nikarudi mm. since 2013 mimi nilikuwa sijaenda America tena mpaka 2021 mm. so, sababu nilidhamiria kujijenga na kufanya vizuri mziki Tanzania na local market mm. okay. sasa wasanii wengi mimi soka nimekuwa na, naweka emphasis kutaka kuwa local kila mtu anataka kwenda international mm. na mimi huko ndo nyumbani uh. kwa hiyo sasa baada ya 2020 mauchaguzi na mambo mambo mengi yale nikasema okay let me just go there ni reestablish connection network na nini alafu nianze kuwa na kuwa the best of both worlds mm-hmm. kwamba naweza nika enjoy the international side at the same time na local sababu kumbuka mimi nianza kuwa natoaga single mbili mbili natoa single moja na lenga local moja na lenga international ili nisiwapoteze wa international lakini sasa baadhi niliwapoteza yeah. sababu kianza kutoa sima sumu ya panya sima vitu mm-hmm. gani huku watu wa nje na elewi na kuna watu wa nje wakuwa nanikubali na nilikuwa nimewajenga vizuri na perform na ma live band kuanzia kule kwa alikuwa na expect my english na ma live na nini niliacha kabisa so okay. i had to go back na kuanza ku reestablish <coughs> siku yako ikoje kule as in what's your to do list what do you do kwenye hii time ambayo ulikuepo ulikuwa hapo miaka mda gani tena ah hapa ndani ya hii miaka miwili nimeenda kama mara 10 so yeah hii ya juice cut ulikuwa hapo juice nimeondoka hapa july mid july ndo nimerudi juice ndo umerudi miezi minne mitano miezi mitatu eh okay siku yako huwa inaendaje nini exactly ambacho unafanya okay mambo na fanya mengi sometimes i go to the gym uh, sometimes i'll take my nieces to school gym um, kama trainer ama Ah so tayari kama kwa mazoezi. Ah hiyo hiyo is normal. I know. Then the gym na and then uh, ndugu zangu wana businesses. Wako oh, kule. Eh, wako kule. So mm. I'll be helping in family businesses mm. ambazo wamezi establish. Mm. Uh, at the same time naweza nika niko kwenye sim na my team kwa most of the time na kuaga ndio maana unaona na bisha na watu Tanzania. Mm. Sababu nakuwa niko awake masaa ambayo watu wa Tanzania nao wame, wameamka. Wameamka. Ili tuweze kuenda sawa. I have my team huku ni kwa okay. nime shoot some videos, nime record Beberu album so mm. it's kind of like okay what has to be done kwa kisha vitu vinaenda sawa. Lazima ufanye hizo meetings na nini koyo. Na kuwa kwenye sim mara nyingi some video calls oh. and then uh, I'll go write music and mm. then I, I, I'll travel sasa kwa sababu kama naona hivi mali kwa Chicago, mali kwa Houston, mali kwa Dallas kwa sababu najaribu ku reconnect na watu ambao nilikuwa nao zamani. Sasa unakuta kuna mtu mwingine naye alihama Chicago amehamia mji mwingine. So finding out about that and also come come to kwenye mji wako I'll kick with you for a few days and see what's up. So maybe either I'll drive there or naweza nikachukua ndege nikaenda pia. Okay. Una 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 team. Na ni team ya watu wangapi ambao yani ume kama ulivyokuwa unasema my team. Hawa ni watu ambao umewaajiri Uh, ambao wanafanya kazi na wewe na ni watu wangapi? Um me na team. Me I was doing say ni partners basically. Even the guy you see in the back is my partner. Okay. um okay. yeah, um kina unanisikia na msemaga chama na chama. American? Ya what up yo? Stop it homie. Na na msajaga sana chama na Mogela. Make it call okay. Make is my is my team. Unaona eh eh Make is my team. Kuna kina Tony. Kuna Giga. Kwa ni partners ni partners wako. Eh partners wako. Sababu this is the thing. You have to create synergy ili muweze kufanya kitu kikubwa. Na watu wao unaofanya nao kazi uweze kuwa treat kama vile bwana mimi boss wenu si a a. Kwa how Mm. Hao get, wanapata si dividends sasa based on partnerships unapata ile share ile. Ah uh, so okay it, it depends kuna managerial level eh. tuko kama watatu unaona alafu una ambao wana manage brand ya wakazi oh yeah basically yeah. watatu eh, watatu ambao ndio managers uh-huh. Uh-huh. alafu ukiangalia wale wengine wanaofuata after that ni part of the creative team yani either wana, wana deal na, 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 na visuals wana deal na, na artworks wana deal na, na audio visual au visual tu zenyewe kama nani alafu na nani na, 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 na 
na ideas za kuweka kuna social media labda na stuff like that so i have that okay. and then i have a engineer ambaye na yeye is part of my partner kwa mfano mjua huki mjua huki is actually part of my team too engineer eh yeah, he's a sound, sound engineer, engineer. Yeah. okay yani mjua huki yeye ndo ali mix album ya Kisimani mix a mass album ya Kisimani mm. ile album ya live from South Busara 2020 ali mix yeye yeah. Alafu hii beberu ame mix na kui master eh hey. na voenda Sauza Busara next month he's going to go there as part of my engineer team okay. ili akikishe vinavyoendelea pale so, so mtu uh, so team ina watu wangapi ambao inamsimamia wakazi ili wakazi simame kama brand uh, ambayo inafaa kama mwanamuziki how many people uh, roughly right? roughly i could say uh, eight, no, eight or nine sababu kumbuka ndio mimi nataka nita niende further kasema mm. kwa mfano i have a live band the yeah. best live band in, in the country it's mm. like the music director of band yangu then is part of my team Okay. And he has to approve everything. Okay. Some of the songs that Monta Zeskia kuna beberu wamehusika wao kuna zikuone production kina mopao kina mukiza so oh. like that. Yeah. How, how well off are you? <coughs> yani wakazi ni mtu ambaye ana pesa unaweza kumrate hapo mm. ni tajiri ama ana pesa size ya kati ama uh, ndo hiyo ni kujitafuta. Um mtoto akishua maana mtoto mtoto akike mtoto akike akikuuliza kuhusu how well of are you hapo maswali ni mengi it depends on tunaenda wapi na basically kwa sasa hivi ni mwandishi wa habari sio mtoto akike twende tena nani first of all mijins ni volelewa si kulelewa kuweka pesa kama ndio kitu cha thamani kuliko vyote muda una thamani zaidi afya ina thamani zaidi umenielewa um na watu wana thamani zaidi mm. so, so. intelligence ina thamani zaidi so mtu akinyuza how well of are you i'm super rich because i'm actually very intelligent i know that so. i don't i don't boast like ini, i am very intelligent well, uh, my mentality is intact <laughs> na mshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu sababu afya nayo nayo so far mm. unaona sijui na muda kiasi gani kumaliza mwendo wangu lakini yeah. at least so far na i'm grateful sababu bado nayo kwa sababu so i'm super rich based on that kuhusiana so, na pesa eh tuiweke pembeni ili nikuhusiana na potaka so, umesema umeenda uh, miji you know si Chicago si wapi so, mm. you need money to do that obviously okay. una team ya watu tisa ambao unasimamia wakazi mm-hmm. there's got to be money rolling money inaingia na inatoka mm. so ndo maana nikakuli una ni mtu ambaye unaweza ukajitambua kama mtu mwenye pesa na no, still i wouldn't say that i mean yeah. we, we don't talk money we don't talk money okay. so una, unawezaje ku, ku kupata hizo hela kusafiri like kukaa yeah. ticket ah, kukaa yeah. miezi yeah. mitano yeah. marekani yes yeah. 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 oh, so uh, au una biashara nyingine mbali na music ah, sasa hiyo si mfanyika au music imekulipa kiasi muziki yeah, unanilipa yeah. constant on a constant basis uh-huh. sababu so, mimi na album ya Kismani na album ya live mm. na EP ya Abacus na mixtape saba mm. kwa zipo kuna digital platform hata kama inaingia laki moja moja lakini inaingia una continuous main source basis. of income ya wakazi ziko nyingi ehe uh-huh. Sina main yani sio kwa sababu ni basi aside from i have a school i have a school mimi inaitwa Eco Stacshire Konga pale inaitwa Queens English Medium ah una shule hapa una shule ya vidudu na na primary congratulations na vile vile ni investor kwenye different business ventures kama unaona idea ya kitu just let me know i'll invest aha sasa kitu ambacho unaweza ku invest to you my brother wa kazi yes since uh, how kuepo around uh, plus 255 the area code mm. wazee wenyewe walisema ya kwamba mm. hawataki kuona nguo yao yoyote mm. either iwe ya pink iwe ya purple iwe mm. white iwe iwe as mm. long as inashabiana na nguo za kijeshi za kijeshi mm. utakiwi mm. Bana timu yako wakati upo huko hawajakwambia kwamba bro bro wanyambia sinyambia au nione mimi mwenyewe huo ni ushamba. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ni ushamba. <laughs> Bwana kwambie kitu kimoja. Marekani mm. amefanikiwa kusababisha watu wamekoa wazalendo kwa sababu gani? Mm. Bendera ya nchi. Mm-hmm. Na vitu kama jeshi ambao kila siku wanataka vijana wajiunge. Wamefanya kama ni vitu ambavyo mtu unaweza kuwa proud navyo wanaruhusu watu wavae nguo zinafanana na za jeshi sio za jeshi mm-hmm. zinafanana na jeshi yani ni fashion bendera ya marekani every kila color pattern kila sehemu na ukitaka bendera unapewa kiraisi 
that's how you build patriotism mtu mm. anapenda vya kwako hapa nyumbani kupata original bendera ya Tanzania yani ni bonge la mchongo mm. uombe switch sheria wapi police si ni kuhai yeah. how am i going to be patriotic no na mzalenda na nchi yangu kama mnanitenzea mazingira magumu tu kinchini umeelewa mm. mm. eh hey, kwa hiyo like, yani, ni kitu ambacho unaona kama eh hey, jamani wajeda mmekosa kazi au imekuwaje <laughs> Jamani uh, ufanyeni watu waweze kupenda nchi yao. Okay. Mimi nikimwona mwanajeshi mshukuru Marekani, mwanajeshi akiingia kwenye kwenye basi. Mama mjamzito au mama mwenye mtoto anakaa. Anaefuata kukaa mlemavu. Mlemavu mama mwenye mtoto afu mjeda. Afu mjeda ukipita kila mtu anasema bana thank you for your service. Kwa thank respect. you for your service. Yeah. Out of respect. Sisi tukiona wanajeshi tunapita hivi pembeni au tunatukana. You know why sababu uh, anatupiga bila sababu sometimes utend. Hmm. Yes yeah. safety kwamba sababu za kiusalama hata mambo ya nguo ya kimwanajeshi anaingia mtaani na anafanya mwana... kwa hiyo yeah. midimpo zanaweza kafanya uhalifu na nguo ya kijeshi acha na wasanii sasa ah sasa mimi mguu sana raia kawaida ah hamna ndio ndio hata msanii ni raia ndio hiyo sasa msanii anaweza kachukua hiyo kwa ajili ya kwa sababu gani sasa kwa sababu 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 Yes ndo anitishe. Hapana. Mm. Nionyeshe kitambulisho. Kwa sababu hata polisi ibidi uonyeshe kitambulisho. Uweze kuja mvaa askari kanzu bila kunyonyesha kitambulisho ni kamate mm. au bila kuwa na warrant uweze mm-hmm. kusachi gari. Uweze. True. Tutengeneze mifumo ili watu waishi kwa amani katika nchi yao na tupende vyombo vyetu vya usalama kwa sababu vinatulinda kama wananchi. Mm. Nice. Yeah. That's how it is. Soko viogopa. Yeah. Soko viogopa. Mimi na mkubali wakazi wakazi That's kwenye eh. Aya usaa hiyo wakazi yeah. kwenye. Yeah. Ambacho namkubali wakazi ni ana hiyo konfo eh either ni sababu ya exposure na my experience and uh, in and out and all that eh una tukio ambalo mwewe kukamatwa na polisi kibongo bongo pep na ukawa una haki zako na conversation ilikuwaje na ulipenyaje hapo eh mimi nikamatwa mara kibao unanyonaje kwanza eh mimi nikamatwa mara kibao maana ukijifanya unajua haki yako hapo unataka kupigwa kofi ukasahau kwamba what's the moment iko wewe unaweza ukapigwa ukisema unajifanya unajua haki alafu ingia ukimwonyesha una hiyo confidence ya kujua haki mwenyewe anagwaya okay ziko hizo mbili aina mbili lakini mimi nikikamatwa ni kwa kwanza kukwambia bana mzee nilikosea mimi nikikosea nasema nikikosea kitu nasema hata hapa nitaka niwape mifano nitaisema hapa sasa hivi kuna vitu nilishai kukosea kama nakiri eh nakiri mimi hapa i'm very professional when it comes to working na corporate na waga na wasaidi na waambia wasanii wangu wao very professional kama mnakumbuka kipindi cha kasolite kuna wasanii walizingua neno neno kama hiki eh mimi I was very adamant kwa kisha kwamba bana unakufanya hivyo nini mm. nini and then wao karibu lakini I was on top of it. Ila mimi kuna siku nisha kukosea. Kuna mtu alinipa shavu alafu usiku li deliver because alinipa shavu ambalo lilikuwa linanipa hela nusu ya kitu nilitaka nikifanyie. Okay. Kwaoni kana sikilizia upande wa pili wanipe hela nyingine nusu ili nikamishe mm. kazi. Wale walionichelewesha nikawa sijibu simu za huyu mtu. Alafu mwisho wa siku hao hakunipa hela hela huyu mtu nikamwangusha. Alafu oh. mtu wangu wa karibu kweli aliniaminia. Yeah, so you have to say sorry for mm. that. I did. It. We, we are already good na mshikaji lakini it's like nilizingua. Na kusema sorry ni future kwa but doesn't I'm sorry man. Ya fui kofia since nimechukua my brother. Sasa hivi. Lakini sio chafu hivi. Ah sio chafu iko sawa iko sawa. Kwenye kwenye post zako kwa kazi inaonekana kwamba unaweka hashtag the leader. Bado una mpango wa kuingia kwenye politics ama kuendelea na politics. Na baadaye labda kulitaka tena jimbo la Ukonga. Yeah that one that one is there. Ujue vitu vile ni school mimi kutaka kuingia kwenye kwenye ubunge vilikuwa viwili. Hmm? Nitaka kuona maendeleo na mabadiliko ukonga au Tanzania. Ile Tanzania lakini ukonga specifically because that's where I grew up. Kwamba nitaka kuona maendeleo na mabadiliko ambayo hmm. siaone yamekamilika mpaka sasa hivi msukumo wa kwanza. Lakini wa pili Ujua sasa hizi watu na miaka 45 kushuka mwaka mmoja wako wengi zaidi kuna inchi kuliko watu wengine wote. Yaani 0 to 45 mm. nadhani ni 70% ya demographic. Mm. Sure. So which means hata uh, uongozi u reflect. Yaani wao viongozi ambao wanaweza kuendelea nao. Hivi unajua kwa mfano hao watoto sasa hivi wa Gen Z ni vichwa vibovu. Unajua mm. hachana na sisi. Mm. Vichwa oh. hao watoto wa chini ni vichwa vibovu. Sasa imagine mzee wa juu huko ndo anaende kudili na yaani tamsumbua. Eh sisi tu wetu wanatupa kipengele. So inabidi viongozi wawe na sura ambayo inaendana na watu wanaoongoza. Yeah. So mimi kugombea first of all ni kwa inspire younger generation na wenyewe waweze kushiriki lakini bali na kwa inspire wao kushiriki 
pia mimi kuwa pale ni kama vile kiongozi ambaye ana taswira kama hao they could relate with me because mm-hmm. me na relate na wow. yeah sure, sure. jerry slam ndo ulikuwa mna gombea naye kipindi kile na akachukua yeah. nafasi ya kuwa mbunge wa ukonga mm-hmm. unaonaje uh, utendaji wake wa kazi mm-hmm. so waka, yani yeah, na ka, <laughs> kazi jinsi ambavyo no pun intended yeah. uh, ujue sasa nasema kuna baadhi ya mambo hayajafanyika bado paka sasa hivi jimbo nalo ni kubwa na ni changamoto mimi ya, i'm not a person ambaye naweza nkampa burden mtu mmoja na kibaya zaidi sasa ni mm. kwamba amepata tena majukumu ya kiseri, ya kinchi mm. ambayo yanapunguza uwepo wake kwenye jimbo umeelewa sasa hapo inahitaji mtu ambaye yuko very dedicated au awe na hiyo team ambayo kama huko America vitu vinaendelea bongo sure. kama una team kama hiyo mimi ambayo nayo inamaanisha yeah, changamoto yeah, yeah. kwa sababu yeah. nao ni waziri inabidi uende kibaa si uende kibaigwa uende wapi na singwea alafu watu wa ukonga wa kivule watu wa msongola watu wa pugu sesheni yeah. wanakusikilizia wa mwana gacha wanakusikilizia hiyo mm. ni kipengele kwa hiyo uh, hata juzi nimeona clip kama watu wanamkataa wana i'm like okay atu, awezi kumlaumu 100% okay. lakini vile vile na yeye sasa hii has to kujitathmini kujua kwamba watu wa Konga ndio the principle mm. alafu vinginevyo vinafuata ngono mm. ah, yeah. sasa hicho ni changamoto kwa watu wengi sababu mtu mwingi akishafikia level ya waziri anafikiri sasa ndio niko juu sema naonaga kama wanavalishwa kofia nyingi mzigo na kwa mzigo sana hebu uliza swali hapo you can walk and chew gum lakini sasa inamisha jeo wewe hapa utatamani tena na karanga pembeni au itakuwaje <laughs> huisi kama mzigo na kuwa ni mzito pale ambapo kushakuwa mbunge mm. deal na watu ambao wamekuchagua sababu mm. watu waliokuchagua wana focus na wewe watetee mazingira yao mm. unapovalishwa kofia nyingine tena taifa zima na kuangalia mm. itakupoteza focus kuna haja ya kuwa na waziri wa waziri mbunge awe mbunge inawezekana sio mbaya hiyo sio mbaya lakini je uh, kama ma, ma, majukumu ya mbunge ya waziri inaweza katekelezeka kwa mtu ambaye huyo ni mbunge nadhani mm. is better kwa sababu mm. tunapunguza ile kuwa na bigger government na mm. spending ya nchi yani hela nzima ikiwa ikiwa ma, ma, ma VXS ma ngapi tena mingine huyo hao mingine hawa yani wengi yani yani kuna sometimes inabidi tumie magari matatu kulimanuva ile jimbo tu la ukonga jinsi mm. lilivyo geographical okay. kwa hiyo sasa unaweza kuta yeye ame concentrate alipo gongola mboto ukonga kata ya ukonga kata ya gongola mboto labda pugu na na na, na kivule labda au sio kivule hapa majoe kwa kina shishi akasahau kuna kivule huku nyuma kuna kitunda kuna managati kuna msongola kuna pugu station anasahau yote anasahau unaona kwa hiyo ni ngumu mimi hapa ningeboresha zaidi jinsi ya kwamba kila kata kuna system ya kwamba vitu vinavyoendelea kuna kila mtaa unafifahamu na kujua kipi kipewa kipa mbele kwa muda huu. Mm. Ile communication sababu watu wanafahamu kila mtu ni reality ya maisha anajua kwamba sio kwamba mtu ni Mungu au ni Yesu ata solve kila kitu ni mtume. Yeah, yeah. Lakini ni kwamba ukimwonyesha mtu kwamba upo naye. Yaani hata kama tumesimama wote hapa afu tunadondokiwa na tofali. Sawa, imadi umonyesha you are with me. Kwa ule utayari wa kuwa tayari kufanya mabadiliko na mtu kwamba umetengeneza mahusiano na yeye that's the first important thing and then kingine ni ku fight zaidi ya ile hiyo miundo mbinu iweze kuafikia watu of course naona sasa hivi kuna project ya kuleta ile mwendo kasi mm. that was there ni plan ya nchi tayari sio ya mbunge mm. lakini it's like hiyo ikikamilika pengine anaweza akasema tumeleta unaona kwa hiyo kuna hiyo sometimes unakuwa unataka ku basic na mambo mengine ukijua kama serikali kuu tayari na mipango yao fulani ambayo ikikamilika utaonekana you are part of the changes lakini kuwa karibu na watu wako unaoongoza na kuonyesha kwamba uko tayari na communication ikiwa direct mm-hmm. that's the number one thing to do ili ujue exactly kinachoendelea na keep you keep keep mbele na kosa nikaamua kufanya kabisa nikana make it local wewe sasa make it tunatoka hapa tunaenda kufanya zile jam sessions za jambiani kule wapi tunajirecord na kisa everything tuna document ili ukuja ku apply unatuma well, yes. evidence bana mimi nimefanya hivi hivi na hivi so hiyo ilinijengea and then of course swala la cv inaonesha okay umetoa kazi gani mpya sune au una kazi unatarajia sune sababu wakikuweka wana kupromote na nini na wanakuweka in front of international audience so uwe na kazi basi zinaonekana naona na CV yako inaonekana na picha quality na nini afu anza kuchagua so wao wanachopenda ni kwamba wanavyokuweka against kuna ile lineup ambayo ina international artist wengi mm. waweke wa Tanzania ambao watatusabisha angalau na sisi tuonekane tumo ndio eh, kwa ndio maana unaweza kukuta Damian Sol akiende 2022 23 wa siende 24 anaweza kachaguliwa tena sababu sikisha prove anaweza feed queue makana unaweza kusikia ameenda tena because ame prove anaweza umeelewa mm. Grace Matata akaenda sababu ame prove anaweza umeona so 
sisi hapa Bongo Flavor Industry tumewekeza kwenye a radio hit and to keep on bless it radio and hit mtandaoni sio sana ni radio hit afu na lile kusepa na kijiji kwenye crowd ah even ndo vitu vitu vyowekeza mm, okay. kusepa na kijiji alafu na radio hit na mala, no, ni rahisi kusepa na kijiji kwa sababu radio imekupa hit mm-hmm. kwa kijiji kina identify na wimbo ukiimba live sometimes au wimbo wimbo kama ulivyo kwenye of course kwenye cd ambapo yeah. watu walosikia kwa hiyo yeah. unakuta mtu anaanza kuimba kwenye stage live wasabiki wanamwangalia mpaka ikifika chorus kidogo inaenda aah oh, yeah, yeah. no. kwa sababu hana huo muda wa kusubiria akose shangwe weka dude yeah. <laughs> analiimbia juu kwa sababu watu wanali identify toka mwanzo lakini which hiyo inakuja kumaanisha nini na audience yetu ya Kibongo Flavor haijazoea live pia bado yeah. sababu ikianza kuzoea na ku appreciate a lot more people wataanza kufanya hivyo alafu tutakuwa na wengi zaidi wanaenda ila kingine ambacho kifanyiki ni kwamba watu nao hawafanya nini awachukui initiative sababu inabidi uapply show unalipwa mm. lakini inabidi uombe jamani mimi nataka kuja CV hapa ah ndio hiyo bwana utakuwepo tutakulipa hivi tutakupa hivi timu yako nzima tutaigaramia hivi pa DM ni hivi lakini sasa sisi tuna yule kuvima kwamba mimi yani wanatafuta wenyewe kwa mfano mimi naweza nikamwambia mimi first time nimemuona msanii Fina alikuwa na perform kwenye show ya Grace Matata mm. Sleepway that pingia na gombea ubunge mm. hey wewe anajua alipiga show live pale yani sikuamini mimi nikaenda kumuomba fina picha mmm wewe mimi afu kumbe sijui kwa gab bss sijui kwa so mimi nikamuomba fina picha kajiuza and then mm. baada ya hapo i'm in love in love amekuja upande wa pili afu now she's actually a pop star yeah. sasa imagine the level ya ukubwa ambao fina ameifikia sasa hizi as a female artist because she's one of the top ones alafu akawa anaenda kwenye stage kama zile kumbuka sauti za busara kuna international booking agent sababu ile ni show ambayo ina zaidi ya miaka 20 ma agent kibao wa nchi za kimataifa wanakuja pale kwa hiyo wakikuona pale opportunity ya kupata show nje ni kubwa mno But mbaya mimi nilivyo perform 2020 covid ikaja kukaa mna matamasha i promise you ile show yangu ilikuwa inipe mashavu mm, na kuna baadhi ya mashavu ya kwa shanza kuja mm. umenielewa mm. kwa hiyo that's very important mtu kama Fina sasa inza kana baada yeye aone kumuhimu kwenda kula asubiri aitu because she's big heart lakini kumbe aki reach out she will open a bigger door kuna nani yake ambao she has no idea Yo, speaking of Fina bana shout out to her yeah ah, shout out to Sara Fina na shout out Fina so, na swali na swali moja tu la mwisho aliwezi kwa la mwisho ila uliza kutoka kwa ni mawili lakini nitayambatanisha um nani huwa nini huwa lengo lako kwa kazi Uko maarufu sana mtandaoni mm. kama artist ambaye kwa namna moja ama nyingine unasema ukweli you tell it like it is mm-hmm. lakini kwa namna nyingine pia unaongea mawazo yako ambapo kwa watu wengine ama kwa sometimes mm. tunaweza tusikubaliane na mawazo hayo mm. yanaweza kawa na ukweli ndani yake kwako wewe lakini mm. yakawa sivyo kwa mwingine mm. Nini huwa lengo ya kuandika vitu ambavyo unaandika mitandaoni ambapo unaweza kumchapa diamond unaweza kumchapa babutale siku nyingine tena eh ukaamka siku moja <laughs> uh, ukachapa soko la comedy industry nchini mm. Tanzania ambapo kwetu sisi ambao kwa miezi sita ambayo mitano ambao haupo mm. tulihudhuria show nyingi za comedy mm. tunaona namna gani comedy imekuwa nchini Tanzania mm. lakini wewe unakuja unaichapa mm. nini huwa lengo hasa ya maoni yako mitandaoni towards wasanii yeah. sanaa in general Adam alisema hapa mwanzo jinsi gani ambavyo mimi unaweza kanikuta si post kazi zangu au sitoi kazi afu nangaika kutupost kazi za wasanii wenzangu mm. wakubwa na wadogo okay. bila kutarajia mimi ku wao kuni post okay. which means na natamani au na matamanio ya kuona industry imekuwa mm-hmm. lakini industry ya muziki sio the only piece of entertainment comedy is movie is umeelewa fashion is zote hizi mimi natamani kuzina zinakuwa kwa sababu zikiwa kubwa za industry na mimi kama part of industry na mimi nakuwa umo my stake ndani yake. Mm. Kwa hiyo mimi nikiona natoa criticism most of the time is constructive criticism. Mm. Unaona ya kwamba watu wafanye hivi na hivi au tufanye hivi njia bora ni hizi ili tuweze kukua kama industry. Mm. Umeelewa? Never personal. I'll never attack people na their personal stuff. Naongelea vitu vya kitasnia, kitaaluma na vyo vifahamu ili tuweze kufanya nini? Kusonga mbele. Sasa mtu kitu kimoja wanasemaga watu wapendi ukweli 
lakini kitu ambacho watu wakipendi zaidi ya ukweli ni mtu ambaye anaongea ukweli. Okay. So sasa hapo ndio tatizo la kuja. Alafu na vivyo tu katika dunia ambayo kila mtu ana maoni yake, lakini inabidi wewe uweze kukubali mawazo mbadala ili tuweze kwenda. Ni wewe ukiwa ukubali mawazo mbadala. Kwa mfano anakwambia Kennedy kama mimi sikasiriki kwa sababu mimi nimeamua kupokea mawazo mbadala hata kama sio wafanyia kazi, lakini you have to receive it. Umeelewa? Hiyo ndio ndio changamoto kubwa ambayo watu wengi ambao tunayo. Lakini all, all these people no wasema. Kwa mfano Diamond if I say something about Diamond, uh, there's nothing personal ndoko tama amefanya kitu ambacho ndio anakambia usifanye hivi au naona kabisa anaweza akafanya vizuri zaidi kuona na nasikitika kwa nini ufanye hivi sababu akitusua yetu umetusua wote tumeona jinsi gani ambavyo David na Whisky ndio walivyokuza game nao kina bana boy anateleza umeelewa so I was like I, i'm seeing kwamba tuna there's ways tungeza tukaenda mbele lakini watu hawafanyi kwa sababu tunaelekeza ubongo fever kuna wasanii hapo wanashindana na wasanii loko wakati hawaikuwa show pita zamani zamani na umewahi kujaribu kuwatumia message ama kuwapigia kuzungumza nao directly instead of mi kupata notification kwamba wakazi kakusema leo uko hebu utenda kwa ndani mimi babu tale mimi rafiki yangu babu tale salama rafiki yangu tunaongea vitu vingi tu private au baadhi ya wasanii wakikosea hata wakichapia captions zao kiingereza mimi nawaambiaga dm wao rekebisha hivyo naambia mimi nimeandika biographies za wasanii ngapi? Kwa hiyo mimi nianza kusema wasanii ambao nimewasaidia kwa namna moja wengine kuandika mm. mabiography yao, kuandika CCV, mm. kwa ma... I've, I've done a lot of things. Ushauri okay. na nini? Nimefanya. Okay. Vipi hawa comedians ambao oh, comedy... industry industry ya comedy mm-hmm. 10 years ago mm-hmm. ilikuwa ipo lakini si kwa level eh, ambayo ipo. Sasa so, hivi ni industry ambayo imekuwa inaingiza pesa, kila koi mzungu anafanya vizuri, watu bake wanafanya vizuri and a lot of others. Ngoni kwambie. Na, na audience bado inaendelea kuhudhuria matukio yao ambayo